What's going on, Ride Tech Nation? Today, we're excited to announce the launch of Ride Tech's Momentum Chassis Series. You've seen the teasers, you've been waiting for all the info, and that's exactly what we're going to deliver on today. What you're seeing here is Ride Tech's first ever full chassis, designed in this case for the second generation GMA body. And while you see it here in its completed form, it took a lot of time and effort to get here. I hope you'll appreciate a little background. In recent years, Ride Tech has applied its always innovate approach into some truly outside the box products. Our recent Fox Body Mustang SLA front suspension and our bolt-in IRS cradle have been game changers for the Fox Body platform. And most recently, our F and X Body subframes released to an eager consumer base. Each of these products caused us to think about applying the entire Ride Tech brain trust toward the development of a complete chassis solution. And not being shy to a challenge, we rolled up our sleeves, tooled up, and got to work. And after a lot of time, effort, and sweat equity, we're pleased to be able to share the momentum chassis with the industry. Now what is Ride Tech Momentum? Right from the rip, we've striven to infuse more performance into the vehicles enthusiasts love to drive, both on the street and on track. Over the years, we've accomplished that through products that modify the OE or factory chassis, and we remain committed to those. Our new lineup of Ride Tech Momentum chassis allows us to put smiles on the faces of an entirely new segment of automotive enthusiasts, making it possible for them to experience the Ride Tech difference with a complete chassis that stems from almost 30 years of suspension engineering and development. Now, one of the common frustrations associated with purchasing a chassis is certainly the lead time. Now, for most chassis out there, that lead time can be anywhere from three to six months, and sometimes that's on the shorter end. Ride Tech is entering the chassis market with the intent to have readily available chassis for popular platforms that we support to reduce the time it takes to complete your build and get you on the road. Now, we also manufacture or sell a large percentage of the additional components needed to finish out your vehicle's drivetrain, including our bolt-in four-link systems, our four nine-inch rear axle housings, the third members, brakes, and more. And this translates to less product research that you have to do, less conversations on the phone you have to have, less worry, and more peace of mind. Now, speaking of popular vehicles, as mentioned, the first Momentum chassis that we're releasing is for the 1968 to 1972 GMA body. And we expect to release the 64 to 67 first gen GMA body shortly thereafter. So let's take a few moments and review what you can expect to get when you order a Ride Tech Momentum chassis. First off, you're gonna receive the chassis itself. The frame, or the chassis, is three times stiffer in our testing than a factory frame. It also is very, very close in overall weight. In our testing, you'll see in the install video, it came out very, very similar uh, to the factory weight. Up front, you're going to get a fixed rate sway bar that reduces body roll and improves the balance of the vehicle. You're also gonna have provisions for different motor mount plates, whether you're gonna go for a small block Chevy, old Pontiac Buick, a GMLS or a Gen 5 LT with direct injection. You're also going to get optimized Ride Tech geometry in our upper and lower control arms and where we were able to choose our own suspension pickup points. That improves Ackerman, improves camber gain, improves the motion ratio of the suspension, and overall transforms the way this vehicle feels. And here we've got the adjustable transmission cross member that will adapt to popular automatic and manual transmissions, either old school or new school iterations. And you can see the adjustment holes that we have in here to help you get that fitted in there nicely. Moving on back, we've got a high clearance exhaust cross member that'll allow you to package the exhaust that you install as high up under the vehicle and maximize ground clearance. We've also got our upper and lower control arms that are part of the four link. And then we've got our four nine inch rear housing. That comes in a standard or narrow width depending on the style of the build that you're gonna do. And then you also got all the hardware that takes to install all of these different components. And those are individually bagged, individually labeled, which really, really helps make the install of each of these components a breeze. As far as the add-ons that you have to choose when it comes to the Momentum chassis, you're gonna have to pick the steering rack. We sell a quick ratio PSC steering rack on ridetech.com. That is a 94 to 04 Mustang, and it comes a little bit different. Uh, like I said, a quick ratio. It also comes with a different input shaft, uh, which doesn't require an adapter. I think the ones you get from an auto parts store have a triangular design input shaft. We uh, rectify that in the one that we sell on ridetech.com. And then we also have metric uh, inner tie rod ends. So that's something to think about as well. You can order a 79 to 93 Fox Body Mustang rack, but you'll have to update to the uh, metric inner tie rod ends. Another one of the things you'll have to decide is what kind of brakes you're gonna run. Right after you decide whether you're gonna run a pin spindle or a hub spindle, uh, we have different brake options that you can select online. 
but it does not come with brakes from the factory. You'll have to pick those as an add-on. One of the other things you gotta decide is what suspension you're gonna run. We've got coilovers installed here on this example, but you can also run our Air Ride, and both of those options are available in our HQ single adjustable or TQ triple adjustable options. We also have a billet adjustable steering arm, when you think about the different applications of engine you're installing in here, big block Chevys are quite bulky, and so we've included this where you can get around the large headers that come on those applications. Out back, we've got our Ford 9-inch axle housing, and you can get that in one of two versions. You can get it in a standard or narrow width, depending on what style of uh, vehicle you're building. And then we also have an optional rear sway bar here. If you're going to be putting a super mega wide rear tire on this and think you're going to need the extra ability to rotate the car in the rear, we would recommend getting the adjustable rear sway bar. But for 90% of the folks out there, we've determined that you won't need that. So we've made that an optional add-on. That about sums up all the different ways that you can configure your RideTech Momentum chassis. While this video is strictly focused on the announcement and the overview of the system, we've also filmed an install video that will be helpful to help familiarize yourself with what it takes to install this momentum chassis under this A-body. For more information, head on over to ridetech.com. We'll catch you on the next one.